Boyfriend ditching me on one year anniversary for out of state wedding, is it okay to give ultimatum? It's been a long year, my boyfriend was fired from his toxic job and was forced to get a new job in a completely new area. I've helped him emotionally through this and was literally the only person to help him move. Needless to say, I've given him a lot I think. When I'm at his place I clean, walk the dog, cook, he's always so stressed out that I'm doing so many of these little things. If I don't then dishes pile up or I'm accused of not helping him enough. Anyways, we had an issue before where he's been invited on trips but I haven't. During these times I watch the dog and it's just exhausting and I've told him that this can't happen again for a while, last boy's trip was early August. He dropped the bomb a week ago that he's been invited to a wedding several states over and it's on our one year anniversary. He will be flying in the day before and leaving the wedding early to come home because he's stressed at his new job and is doing overtime and doesn't feel comfortable leaving for a whole weekend. I am livid. This is the second wedding that I'm not invited to. I've met many of his friends in person but he doesn't show me off on social media and I've met a couple of friends he's been OJ these boy trips with and they don't even know he had a girlfriend. His really good friends know and told me that they're happy to meet me but that's onto a handful and it's made me sad when someone doesn't know who I am when they meet me. Anyways I trust him but I feel like an anniversary is a big deal, ESP after this shit show of a year. I asked if I could come and he said he'd ask but he hasn't yet. Anyways this is getting long but would I be a bad person for giving him an ultimatum? He told me we can celebrate on Sunday but that's not the same and I know I'm going to be hurting. Comment. I don't think ultimatums are ever a good idea. They almost feel like a manipulative threat. Is this really worth ending a year long relationship over? Whose wedding is this? Like is he close to this person? Weddings are huge deals to people and he was invited because somebody wants him there. You're putting him in a rough spot. I really don't think it's big deal to celebrate your anniversary on a different day. It's none of their business that he was fired and it's up to your BF to decide who to disclose that information to. I have friends whom I haven't spoken to in years and I would 100% invite them to my wedding, a lot of people use it an opportunity or excuse to get people together you haven't seen or spoke to in a while. If you've made up your mind, great but don't put him through an emotional roller coaster of threats over something you've already decided. This is not a situation to give an ultimatum in. I'm assuming this wedding is including a close friend of his as well. You are putting him in a situation where he either has to a, tell his friend the truth and bail because of your ultimatum, b, lie to his friend about why he can't attend his wedding, or c, break up with you and go. None of these options are good if you want to stay with this person in my mind. Maybe he messed up not telling you the date, but one year I to a relationship is not a huge thing in my mind. Don't get me wrong, I would celebrate and give gifts if it was my girlfriend, but I wouldn't skip a best friend's wedding for it. Next story too. My partner of almost a year didn't tell me about a trip he took during our relationship. Hi. I am looking for some unbiased opinions on this situation. My partner and I have been seeing each other for almost a year, and have been exclusive for 8 of those months. Posting anonymously. A little over 2 months ago, my partner suddenly essentially ghosted me. He cancelled all of our plans and told me he was overwhelmed with work and other things. Prior to this he had been barely responding to me. After this he pretty much entirely stopped replying to me. After about two weeks, we met up and he told me what about why he did that and what he was going through that led to him to stop contacting me. During the time we were not in contact, we were still in a relationship. During this time I spiraled into a depression, due to other factors in addition to having no idea why he was not contacting me. From his perspective, he was going through a rough and shameful time and needed to consider if this relationship was something he should continue and he also said he wasn't ready to share any of this with me when he stopped contact. Ultimately we decided to continue the relationship. A month after we went to Las Vegas together. During the trip I asked him out of curiosity when the last time he went to Vegas was. He told me he wasn't sure. 
When I pressed him on it, he said sometime in the past year. When I asked if it was during our relationship, he said he couldn't remember. I thought it was weird he couldn't remember, and especially if it was during our relationship why wouldn't he tell me? He told me to stop getting upset over it and he really couldn't remember. I assumed it was probably at the very beginning of our relationship or why else wouldn't he have told me about it and let it go. This month, I need to take a work trip. He offered to let me work in his office, which was near the airport, until I needed to go to the airport for my flight. I was very thankful and accepted this offer. Since we were in a rush to get to the office and he had client meetings, he let me borrow his car to grab breakfast. While I was using his car, I noticed that his passenger door was overflowing with receipts and other trash. I thought it would be a nice gesture of thanks, misguidedly, to at least separate the paper trash from the rest of the items in the door. I started pulling out receipts and placing them in a separate bag for him to go through later. As I was I was going putting things in the bag, the name of a famous Vegas hotel popped out to me on a parking ticket. Initially. I thought it was from our trip, but as I continued to put receipts in the bag it struck me that we had never visited this hotel. I pulled to parking validation back out and looked at it. The date was during the time he had just told me he was going to stop communicating with me. I was shocked, and even more upset when I remembered that he had not told me about it when he had the opportunity in Vegas. I feel like he hid the trip, I feel like this is lying by omission. He had two opportunities to tell me about this trip and he chose not to. From my perspective, how can I trust him to tell me about more major things if he can't even tell me about this supposedly innocent trip? When I confronted him, he said he couldn't remember when the trip was, even though it was literally just two months ago. He got angry at me for going through his stuff and said it was a violation of his privacy. Later he said he couldn't trust me anymore. He wouldn't allow me to use his car, don't care about that, or come to his place, really big deal since he hasn't had me over at his place in 7 months and it's something we have been arguing about. He said I shouldn't have used anything I found going through his car unlawfully against him. He said he did go on this trip with a friend but it wasn't any of my business since it wasn't something we didn't do together. He says he doesn't have to tell me every single thing he does and it's incredibly unreasonable of me to expect him to tell me things that he does that don't involve me. I think that a trip is a big deal, and even if it happened during an ambiguous time in our relationship he still should have brought it up when I asked about previous trips to Vegas. Next story 3. I set a boundary with my partner because he has a drawer full of his ex-girlfriend's belongings. So we have been dating for about 4 months and I was at his apartment the other night. Before going to sleep, I asked if I could borrow an iPhone charger, he has an Android. He went into a drawer in his dresser and took an iPhone cord out. As he was doing that, the drawer, because it's broken, sort of fell out and I could see inside of it. The thing that stood out to me was a bright red, lace white thong. There were lots of things in that drawer. He knew I saw it so I asked him why he had that. And he replied that it was a drawer he had put all of his ex-girlfriend's belongings inside of. They broke up about 7 months ago. He collected all the items in his apartment of hers and put them in a drawer so he could return her things later and wanted to get his things back. The thing is, he blocked her because the last time he saw her, she hit him repeatedly in the face and acted extremely aggressively slash manipulatively threatening to kill herself if he didn't take her back. So I was like, just drop her stuff off at her apartment to her roommates and he said that he doesn't want to do something so cold, he wants to see her and get his things back too. That he's had that drawer for this many months because he was avoiding it due to the anxiety it caused him. He didn't want to face the bad situation. I was calm, told him I wanted to go to sleep. We went to sleep and in the morning he made me breakfast to try to cheer me up. We spent the whole Sunday together, playing basketball with friends, going to the golf range, watching the sunset and cooking dinner. I cried twice. I slept over again. Not sure why I did that, 
probably because I love him and wanted to avoid the things I was feeling. Last time I saw him, I said I was saddened by the situation because he has had many months to return her stuff but I respect whatever he wants to do. He didn't say much and we kissed goodbye. After taking space, I decided that I do not want to keep seeing him while he has this drawer so I called him. I told him that while this drawer exists, I can't come over and we can't meet up. He proceeds to tell me that earlier that day he contacted her roommates and asked to arrange a time to exchange their items. Why he didn't tell me he took those steps is so weird to me. I said it's great that he was able to face something that is so hard and that I understand. The last thing I said to him was, let me know once you have returned the items. Until then, I don't feel comfortable talking or seeing you. He agreed and that was it. Do you all think that was the right thing to do? I miss him and feel so sad that we aren't talking. I am not used to setting boundaries in my relationships, not sure if I did it correctly here. I hate sitting around wondering when we will speak again and when he will give the stuff back. I also feel like I was possibly too harsh. I worry that he isn't going to come back because I was maybe too harsh. I know he doesn't want to be with her at all but he just puts so many things off. He does this with lots of things in his life. If it gives him anxiety, he doesn't want to face it so he just hides from it. Comment. It was a bit weird to still have it and want to do it civilly but it is also quite mature to want to do so in a way. Having panties is a bit odd and all that stuff if she wanted it so bad she would have asked surely it's been 7 months she survived without it. At the same time his ex was manipulative and abusive, wanting a civil finish might be a way of him wanting closure on the whole situation. Like she literally hit him and threatened to kill herself I'm sure that weighs on him. At the same time I completely understand why a draw full of your BF's ex's things would make you uncomfortable and not coming round till he gets rid of it was a good compromise. You were not harsh. You were uncomfortable with something and set a clear and reasonable boundary. You should stick to it, and he should respect it if he cares about you. Hopefully he respects your boundary and returns his ex's things and you guys can continue a healthy relationship, but if not, you dodged a bullet. So either way, you did well. Great job. Keep going. How will you know that he is actually doing what he says that he is doing? You say that he avoids doing things that create anxiety. The fact that he didn't offer the return information is troubling. He may have lied to avoid your wrath and avoid returning the offending items. His habit of avoiding issues brings into question his suitability for a long-term relationship. Does he have a career or a job? Avoiding issues will interfere with his advancement to greater responsibility and higher pay. Sounds like he was probably avoiding confronting the issue by procrastinating doing anything one way or another. I assume he collected the stuff and put it away a while ago, and has just been doing his best to not pay attention to it since. Since he has her blocked everywhere and doesn't seem to want to interact much, I doubt it's because he genuinely wants to keep up some line of communication. Keep in mind that if she hit him, is manipulative, and was stalking you, it's likely that she was either problematically toxic or outright abusive during their relationship too. After their breakup, he could have still been worried about staying on her good side and wanted to do things in the most conflict averse way he could think of. Then, he just didn't follow through. Which makes sense, considering how their last interaction seems to have gone. I don't think going no contact over it is the best idea. Might be a bit harsh. But I get why seeing that stuff could have been upsetting to you, and why you might assume bad intentions on his part. But unless these were treasured artifacts or important memories he felt attached to, it seems more likely that it's just leftover crap that he hasn't dealt with yet. Apparently he is taking steps to get rid of it already and isn't fighting you on it, so that's good. Consider it solid progress. As a side concern, what happens if the ex deliberately drags this out and makes returning her shit a long process? He's done what he can for now, but since you told him not to contact you until he's finished giving her stuff back, you are both living at the mercy of an established shithead. It could potentially be a while. 
If the ex makes her roommates flake on the appointment to exchange things, who knows when he will be allowed to talk to you again? Just a question worth considering.